Okay. Where to? To Algonquin Duke's Expressway, please. Hey! Okie dokie, friend. Here we are. Whoa, whoa. Ah, Nico, good to see you. You too. How are you, Mr. Gravelli? Good, good. I was just speaking to our mutual friend about you. He said how efficient you were. I like that. Then he mentioned something about a Darko Brevich. What? He did? Yeah, he's located the guy. It seems he wasn't in Switzerland at all, but in Bucharest. He'll be here soon. Good, good. And it seems your Russian friends are getting the message. Some of them. Oh, okay, so... I think it's our turn to do a favor for that mutual friend of ours. Seems some Korean has come into the country and... and is selling money at a discount. You don't need me to tell you that it's all fugazi. Faker than a pair of vinewood tits. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Listen, I need you to deal with this. Eliminate the guy. What he's doing is no good for the economy and no good for patriots like you and me. Huh. So who is he? His name is Kim Young Guk. He'll be very well protected. He eats at Mr. Fook. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Mr. Gravelli, are you all right? Yeah, yeah, uh, I'm fine. Wait, 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 what was I saying? Kim Young Gook, he eats at... Yeah, right, right, right. He, he eats at a restaurant called Mr. Fook's Rice Box. <laughs> yeah, in Alderney City. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll take care of it. Hey, buddy. Okay. Think we'll be there in no time. That's uh, very kind of you. Where is Kim? He's upstairs, speaking with the manager. They don't want to see nobody, though. Kim and I are old friends. Kim got a lot of money. He don't need no friends. Get lost!
Where is Kim? If you play stupid, you're not going to live very long. Where's Kim? Uh, he heard you come. He ran out back through the kitchen. I have a lot of... You're a devil! He's passed his last false bill, Mr. Gravelli. Well done, my boy. This is gonna be a fruitful partnership for us both. To Algonquin Duke's Express. Let's do it. Nico, what the fuck? I ain't heard from you in a fucking age. How about some darts? Sorry, Pecky. I can't throw darts with you right now. Sure, Nico. You must have people to kill and shit. Call me when you're free. It's all about problems and solutions. Ah, yeah. Nico! Of course, you guys already know each other. Nico, good to see you. Interesting friendships you both keep. Yeah, very interesting. The mayor will be here in a minute, and I have two senators dropping by later. Everyone wants to pay homage to a dying legend. Everyone wants the glamour of a bygone age. Everyone. Now that you hear what I said. Yeah, I heard what you said. Nico, our friend here, is telling me that the Ancelotti's are in league with the Russians. Ancelotti's? I know these guys 73 years. 
In 1972, I should have killed his uncle, but I spared him. And this is how he repays me? Unbelievable! And now he's dealing drugs with Ivan the goddamn terrible! <laughs> So what we're saying is, this is a matter of security, national. Normally, I don't care about cocaine. Keeps controllable people in power. But this is no good. All right, what's my role in this? The distribution network is a fleet of vans parked at a grocery warehouse in Alderney City. The product is packed into the frames of the vans, ready to be moved all over the country. Destroy everything, whatever it takes. And for me? For you. I've got a real gift for you. Get this done, then we'll talk. I want to go away. Uh, don't play with the windows. It can take a long time ah, to bleed whatever. to death done properly. Fuck you!
Where you going, man? Audner Evans. I finish. I'm going home to blow some haze and beat up the coochie. This is as far as I can go, man. down.
I baked the bread for you, my friend. This is a regular account. I'll inform the accountant of your success. No more jobs? Is that it? Am I out? You're out. You've done good things for us, and we are grateful. That said, I've given you a lot of protection. From here in, you're alone. Goodbye. Roman, they brought Darko Brevich into the country for me. This is almost over. I'm going to finish it. Nico, you can't do this alone. I'm coming with you. Come collect me from Firefly Island. All right. Wait there for me. So we need to go. Krasenberg and them booty cutters? I'd do something special with that. Disappointment is not a consideration. I have not been the same man since the day that Darko betrayed us, since I saw those things. You lost a lot of friends at the Nico. We both did. In some way, my friends from the village were lucky. I lost myself that day too. Everything that was good and innocent in me died along with them. If I could live those hours again, I think I would have preferred to be buried in the pit along with everyone else. This is all that is left of me. What am I good at, Roman? What is my trade? I deal with that. Because that is all that is open to me. I will tell you what you are good at, Nico. You are a good cousin and a good friend. You still have integrity. No matter what you say, there is humanity in you. You still have the power to be good. It's important that you believe that. Maybe I will start to believe it when Darko is dead. That might give me some perspective. This killing must stop sometime, Nico. Once this is done, then you must begin to forgive. Think about your future instead of the horrible things that have happened to you. To us! To all of us! In the past! After this is done, then we can talk about forgiveness and redemption. Now is not the time for such conversation.
This is it. This is where it all ends. You remember me? Pusseme, ne poznajete. I don't know you. Yes, you do. I'm the one who survived. Nego, hello. Reci mi zašto. Zašto? Zato što smo bili prijatelji. Svi smo odrasli zajedno. Mitar, Dragan, Goran, Mio. Mogu da nastavim. Sfio! Ha? We were friends, but I had other friends. Friends that Goran and his guys killed. My fucking neighbors! Because of what? Because of shit. Lies. Fucking lies. So that makes it okay. To stab your friends in the back? When everything you believe is shown to be shit, you make strange choices. Fuck yes. you! Strange choices? How much? <laughs> A thousand. <laughs> you killed my friends for one thousand dollars. How much do you charge to kill someone? You ruined me, you fuck! I needed the money. I had problems. You're a fucking junkie! Kill me, Dan! You fucking hypocrite. Trust me. You'll be doing me a favor! Ah! Nico, come on. Look, let's go. Let him suffer. He, he knows what he did. <laughs> It doesn't look like he enjoys life too much. Okay, come on. We should go, Nico. You've seen what happened to him. Where am I? What is this place? You say I ruined you. You were always a killer. I just helped you see that. I'm lost. I'm lost. Will you take me over to Bruce's house? Turning this shit off. I can't take listening to those annoying ads and DJs right now. You did the right thing, Nico. It is not often that a man can be sure of that, but you definitely did the right thing. You're proud of yourself. Let's have a fucking party. Break out the champagne. I let the diseased, traitorous junkie live after hunting him for over a decade. Shit! Someone hand me the keys to the fucking city. There's no need to take that talk, cousin. I'm sorry. If my tone affects you, Roman, but this has been a very difficult moment for me. It took every fiber of my being, pulling in the same direction, not to kill Dargo, to not get revenge for all those lives he took away. What made you spare him, Nico? I don't know. I wanted it for so long, he would just be dead. Like everyone else from our village, I was the one that survived the first attack. Living is not easy. No. I would live to kill the Darko as well. But then when I looked at him, I realized that nothing would change if I killed him. The revenge would not somehow shut the book of what I have seen. Only those who die get closure. Living So you keep living. And you try to have a happy life. You 
You tried to move on. I tried. Yes. Here we are. Do you want to come in and hang with Brucey? No. I need to be alone. Thank you for being with me, cousin. Do not mention it. Call me, Nico. The wedding is soon. I thought I should let you know. I found Darko. The guilt has destroyed him. I don't know. Somehow, it was better to walk away. You know what? I'm really proud of you, Nico Bellic. After what we've had to live with these last 12 or 13 years, I know how much it hurt you. And you walked away. I know this must be hard for you, but you won, Nico. You really did. We've got to celebrate. You're free now. Maybe a spa day? Sure, whatever. I'll speak to you soon, Bernie. Odner Avenue, drive! Night and Here we are. That's uh, very kind of you. I'd like some work, brother. I have a client with a problem. You'll get your normal rate to assist them with it. The target is in a car. They're moving around, Alderney. Take them out. Now get out of here. Uh. Take this. This guy's an asshole. That's unit from Axel. Oh, boys. Oh, I got him sighted. Jesus, holy shit. Get that shit heap out of my face.
It is now time to collect from the client. The client will be pleased to hear that. If you want more files, you can reach me on the outside line. Ordner in. Gold. This is it. Thanks a lot. All right, brother, I'm in need of a job. I have a client with a problem. You'll get your normal rate to assist them with it. It's three men. They've been lured to an old building in Alderney City. Finish them there. So, uh, can you... Fun way to go. Thank you very much.
have to. Kids are in bed, and the dishes are done. This is a regular account. I'll inform the accountant of your success. I'll see what I can do. Just too much! 
How's my favorite girl? We need a picture of Grace. Her pa thinks she's holed up with some guy. He don't believe we got her. Will you do it? Ma's still upset. So I'm a portrait photographer now, am I? Okay, I'll send you it on my phone. Here we are, then. Smile for your daddy, Grace. Fuck you! Where you been? I've been jonesing for some fries for about five hours. Sorry, your shift ain't over, Gordo. I'm just here for some holiday pics. <laughs> Come on, Gracie. I want you looking pretty for the photo. Do you know who my father is? I can't even hear it. Enjoy your freedom. My God. Yeah, but we. Whoa, that's not cool. You want this to turn ugly? Oh man, he's got a gun! Yeah. <laughs> he sent his wife to Dixmont Asylum. Wow. This is Brucey, a push... Then let's do it.
Patrick McCreary. I probably don't remember giving you my number or who you are. Ladies, uh, I'm sorry it was a one night stand. I want to go to Grenadier Street. Here we are. Thank you very much. Hey. Hey. Yeah, so, uh, anyway, a friend of mine in here tells me that a close friend of yours, go you've been spending a lot of time with recently, swept the clean off her feet. Okay. Yeah, her old boyfriend wants her back. They always do. Desperately and quickly, and he's looking for her. I think you and her should go out on a glamorous date in Algonquin. Show her a new pad. Then, things would be okay between you two. But move your fucking ass, pal. Women don't like a chump, you get me? Hey, buddy. Where you headed? Sure thing. Here we are. Great. Thanks. You're moving up ah! over at the bowling street. Not in the cab ah! of this car, I'm not. After last time, she can ride in the trunk. Fair enough. Ah! Ah! It's just bit me. Ah! I think she has something to say. Motherfuckers, when my daddy finds you, he's gonna kill you. He's gonna kill everybody you've Get ever Get you seen. around. Thanks a lot. Sorry guys, we're keeping this bitch. Nico, my man. Katie's taking over on my duty, so I'll be watching this Guido bitch for you. Where is she? In the trunk. She don't play too nice up front. Gracie, Gracie, act nice now. You motherfuckers, I'll rip your cocks off! Help! Help me! Let me out of here! She's a wild one. I'll try to calm her down. Let me out! See you later, Nico. Oh, I'm gonna fucking kill you! I'll fucking kill you! Taxi! 
Where can I take you? I want to go... Here we are. Thanks. Hey. Yeah. What's wrong? There's good news and there's bad news. Good news is, everything's coming together. Bad news? Ain't gonna make a blind bit of difference to me. Uh, what do you mean? Do you want me to spell it out? No, I guess not. Thanks. Pac, you'll give you a call and explain. The ex-boyfriend of your girl is going to agree to the divorce terms. Unfortunately, turns out he wasn't our only problem. Some other crap has turned up. I don't think I'll be getting out anytime soon. Been a great laugh. You look after yourself. Yeah. just off of Frankfurt Avenue in Northwood. Looks like our joyful time with her is coming to an end. That's a fucking tragedy. We should throw her a goodbye party. That's the plan. Hopefully someone might bring a big present for us to this shindig as well. Maybe a big bag of diamonds will help us get over the pain of losing her. We're waiting for you, man. It's Nico. I need a cab. You need walk? No longer. There's a cab coming to you. Frank for there. this Not only do you not pay for the ride, but you make the car smell a big shit. All right, Nico. The exchange is over on Charge Island at the water treatment plant. Becky, my man. How are you and Gracie getting on? Like a house on fire, ain't that right, Gracie? <laughs> See, she was just telling me how much she loved me. What do you think of Nico, Gracie? I fucking love the fuck of you. Gracie, watch your mouth. Nico's a good friend of mine. Don't say that about him. Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Gracie, you're sweet. I know, I'm too good for him, but sometimes a guy has got to hang out with lowlifes like Nico here. He's got his uses. I don't know what fucking uses! That's right, he is definitely a bad influence on me. I'm a fucker! Somewhere to go, we may as well go at pace. I like it. Oh, 
Here come the police! Check the cops, Nico. Look at that Gracie, you all right? Daddy? The bastard didn't hurt you, did they? She can't speak. We got a gag in her mouth. Give her back, you animals. She suffered enough. Hand over the stuff. Hand over Gracie. I'm here for you, sweetie. Hand over the fucking stuff. All right, calm down, both of you. Oye, we put the ice in the middle. We walk back. Then you send over the girl. We leave, and you pick up the stuff. Entiende? Sure. Show us the goods. Come back to me, honey. Let her go. Nikabelik. How is it? That whenever something is stolen from me, you are not far away. I have never stolen anything from you, Mr. Bulgarin. This man, the big pedic, and his Dominican bitch, they stole my diamonds. And you have been trying to rob the thieves to rob me. Can't you? What you did to that man, but we ain't leaving here without them diamonds. All right, I think I know who's got the. We fucking got him. Fuck, Nico, there's some guys up there. There's some more of them up there.
Take the high road and you take the low road. Jesus, Nico, there's more of the bastards arriving. Having fun. Enjoy that, you fuck. Here. Back off. Give us that fucking ice! You're trapped! We'll let you go if you give them up! <laughs> I'm screwed either way. If I don't give you the diamonds, you kill me here and you take them. I do give you the diamonds, Mr. Bogarin kills me later. I don't nobody having them. Screw all of you. Yebeno isto. You selfish piece of cock sucking shit. Piece of shit. Shit, I don't want to spend another minute in this crap hole. Let's get out of here. Christ, why did that moron have to throw the ice away? It was just plain selfish. There's always one who ruins it for everybody else in the class. You're telling me. We would have let him live. He could have walked away from there. Instead, he's fucked and the diamonds are who knows where. A lot of people are going to be upset about that. My brother Gerald is going to be one of them people. There ain't much that could cheer him up now that he thinks he's doing serious time. But this is really going to piss him off. It's gonna be a nice thing to mull over. You know, while he's staring at them metal bars for the next decade or so. A guy like Jerry can still do stuff in the joint. He organized this kidnapping shit, didn't he? Can't be the only card he's got to play. Fuck, he wasn't too chipper the last time I spoke to him, and he's gonna be a long way from chipper when I tell him what went down. If I can get what went on straight in my head in the first place, that is. Okay, so we exchanged Gracie for some diamonds that raves to have. Then some Russian turns up saying they're his, then everything goes to shit. That's about right, isn't it? There's nothing right about this situation, but that would be an accurate description of what went down. The Russian was called Ray Bulgarin. I worked for him on the Adriatic. He thought I stole from him and he came after me. I had to leave Europe because of him. And they were his diamonds? I don't know about that. They're nobody's now. The only thing that makes me smile about this shit is that Bulgarin does not have the ice. Piece of shit does not even stay at the fight to see the outcome. Just leaves his boys to clear up. We was outnumbered, Nico. I can see how he thought it was covered. This is not the first time he has assumed that I would be killed by some of his employees. Hopefully one day I'll be able to teach him his lesson by putting a bullet to the back of his head. You're not meant to say what you wish for out loud. It won't come true if you do. That rule even works for wishes as cheerful as yours. Gracias, have a good one. Jesus! 
Jesus, these fucking roads! You don't hold back, do you? Nico, that was a whole lot of effort for no fucking reward. Story of my life. It is the story of a lot of lives, Becky. I'm getting used to hearing it. See you, Nico. I gotta go break the news to Gerald. At least I'm gonna be on the other side of some bulletproof glass to him. But you know what? I'm still fucking scared. Good luck. Feelings, friend. Hey, man. Remember me? Uh, sure, the crack smoking American dream. I'm clean, man. Oh, what a ride. Yeah, you look good. I feel good. Good. I sank as far as a man can sink when you're given blowjobs at ten bucks a pop so you can score your next rock. And I have an Ivy League education. Jesus, what a disgrace. But I'm over that now. I'm engaged. Hey, congratulations. Hey, I owe you, man. I mean, I was a dick, but I'm making up for it. I was a loud mouth dick, and I apologize. Hey, apology accepted. Don't worry about it. Listen, I gotta go pay off one of my dealers. Make things right. Would you come with me? I hate to ask, but I'm afraid the temptation might get to me. Please. Sure. Awesome. We need a ride. The HR guys are total ass. Just off Asparagus Avenue. I love making 100 page slideshows. I hear you. I asked my sponsor to come along, but he says this is something I gotta do without him. Thanks for helping me, dude. Do not mention it. This is step number nine in the program. I'm making amends to all those I harmed. Expensive process. Could be. That said, it's a lot harder to ask people to write off the emotional debts than the financial ones. My problem hurt a lot of people.
I'm sorry. Excuse me. Have a good day, sir. That's them. Do you mind waiting here? You're pretty dumb for a banker. You forgot about interest, bitch. Trust the higher power. Trust the HP. You're here to make friends too? I've got Whatever. enough friends. Money I ain't got soft at all, trust. <laughs> Thanks, dude. I'm glad you were here for me. Take me back to my place on Wappinger. Are you upset that you couldn't make amends? Step nine's a tough one. Not everyone wants you to get better. I'll talk about it in the group. You have to have the serenity to accept the things you cannot change, the courage to change the things you can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Right, dude? I mean, that makes sense. I just can't always live it. That is a healthy attitude. Thanks for everything. Here's a token of my gratitude. Stay safe. I'll see you there. Where can I take you? Tinderbox Avenue. A fun way to go. That's great. Love to disappoint me. 
in Nico Pelik. You really do. Are you disappointed that I have not found and killed you yet, Dmitri Raskolov? Do not worry. Your time will soon come. I went to the sewage works on Charge Island. I picked through the bodies, and yours was not amongst them. Very disappointing. I'm sorry. Or maybe the thugs who failed to kill me should be blamed, though. I cannot believe that you would steal from my friend Ray Bulgarin twice. First in Europe, and then these diamonds Liberty City. You are in debt to him, Nico. Why don't you just pay him what you owe, and we can all get along? I have no debts to Bulgarin, Dimitri. And the only thing I owe you is a bullet to the temple. You will be paid in full. Fear not. You have a sharp tongue, Nico. It is only a matter of time before it is cut out of your mouth. Goodbye. Move away from the... Vodka on the rocks. Nico! Uh, good to see you. And you? How are you? Uh-uh. Fucking terrible. We got legal problems, all kinds of crap. You know how things have gone. I've heard some things. <sighs> you get close to your dream, then something holds you back. No! Well, commission or no commission, I ain't gonna starve. People don't want me around, they don't have to have me. But I know how to earn. I need a favor. Here we go. Fuck you! I looked out for you, and I'll pay good, real good. But I need you to do something. I need you to collect that H. I got some Russians who have a buyer. Russians? Yeah. Dmitry Raskolov. No, we've got the history. I know. But this is real. I need you. Real? What the fuck is real? Real because it's you? Real because it's my last chance! Then good luck. No. I need you to get that H. I need the money. I looked out for you. You know, people wanted to whack you. I said no. Now I need you. And I'll pay a lot of money. Listen, Mr. Pegorino. I already told you. I got no, history. No, you listen, you dumb immigrant fuck. I ain't asking you. I'm telling you, do this. Get over your principles. These guys don't hold grudges. Do it or you and me are going to have a problem. Look, Phil will look after you. You won't even have to deal with the fucking Russians. He's waiting for you, down in Tudor. All right. I knew I could count on you. Hey, how about that drink? Roman, I have a problem. You've got a problem, Nico. I'm about to get married. I'm about to commit to one woman for the rest of my life. This is serious, Roman. I have been asked to work for Dmitry Reskolov again. There could be a lot of money in it. I heard you two had resolved your differences. He's on some boat in East Hook, right? What, you knew about this? He's on a boat in East Hook? Yeah, I, I heard you had forgiven him and we're working together. You're doing this deal, right? Now that I know where Dmitry is, I might just go there and take him out instead. Have you forgotten that he burned down your apartment and business? That he arranged your kidnapping? Now I have a better apartment, and I'll have an even better one if you work with him again! Promise me you won't do anything hasty, cousin. I have to think about it. Speak to you later. Sorry, but I need this. Hey, que vaina, bro? You some kind of scourge? Esta vaina está pasado. I'm peeling, bro. Get out of there, come on. Do not be hitting me anymore. Hey, Kate. I have a decision to make. I don't know who to talk to about it. What's your choice, Nico? There is a man who betrayed me in the past. I am being asked to work with him. It could be very profitable, but 
It would mean going back on an oath I swore to myself. You shouldn't work with him, Nico. You don't need money. What is it going to change about your life? I don't know. It'll make things easier. For me and for Roman. I'm not going to respect you if you compromise what you believe in for money, Nico. Goodbye. We're going to Mohanet Avenue. On our way. Uh, don't play with... Okay, here we are, bucko. Запакуйте весь хэроин! Мы сегодня ночью посылаем! Chance to run like a little mouse. Yes, ah! I got the pussy. Can I come to power?
you.
Fires! Hey, Dimitri, I don't think I'll be doing this deal with you. We have other business to finish. Nico, it's been a long time. I thought your time in America might have calmed you down. America does not change everyone. Look at you. You arrived in this country, a spineless rat who would sell out his friends. That is what you will be when you die here. Заткни этого балтийского хуя! Your ship has sailed, Rescador! Come on, 
Dimitri! I'm here to end this! I should have put you out of your misery a long time ago. Goodbye, Dimitri. I got the... I killed Dimitri. It's over. He was on the platypus, the boat I arrived in Liberty City on. So it seems it ends where it began. I guess you did what you felt you had to do. No deal, no money, no hot tubs and models. But Dimitri will not bother you again. I will see you at the wedding, yes? Remember to wear a suit. I'll be there, Roman. Don't worry. So we're I'll take the long way. That's great. This is Phil B. Leave a message. why you made the decision you did. For what it's worth, I didn't trust that Dimitri neither. Yeah, well, I did what I had to do. Anyway, you and me can't talk no more. Jimmy's falling apart. The Pegarinos ain't nothing no more. I'm out, man. Goodbye.
Hey, Kate. I took your advice. I cut my connections with that man. I'm really proud of you, Nico. It must have been really hard to turn down the money and stick to your principles. Well, it was the right thing to do. Are you coming to Roman's wedding? Can you pick me up and take me there? I'll be at my ma's. See you soon. Someone's gonna get hurt in a minute. Oh my god. Ah. <laughs> Thanks for coming to get me. You're looking really nice. Shall we go to the church? So, how do sociopaths behave at weddings? 
we fire a gun into the air as your cousin walks down the aisle? No, there won't be any gunfire at this wedding. I might steal the collection box if the mood takes me, though. Oh, really? Yeah, I'll mug any nuns that are hanging around the church as well. You know, it's not that weird to think that there might be some shooting at this wedding. Not only do you seem to attract ultraviolence wherever you go, but this was the church where we had my brother's funeral. You remember how that turned out. Yeah. How are you about that? Do you miss you? I'm okay. He's still in my thoughts, you know. He brought it on himself and he wasn't a good person. When I think about him, I just wish that he'd been happy in his life. What would have made him happy? It's hard to say, but maybe the right person? Yeah? Do you think that that is the answer for everyone then? Maybe. The right person can make your life wonderful in the same way that the wrong one can ruin it. The problem is that it's difficult to tell which one the man you are with is. Huh. I've had some trouble telling right and wrong apart before. After the war, I was involved in a life I felt was not for me. Those decisions became very difficult. You're talking about your criminal exploits as if they're a thing of the past. Well, maybe they are. I don't want to be involved with the men I have been involved with. I want to surround myself with good people, not bad ones. Recently, I have tied up a lot of loose ends in this city. My past does not haunt me in the way that it used to. I've tried to separate myself from it. I'm ready to try to be good. Are you? Are you prepared to say goodbye to the fast cars, the drugs, the violence, the cheap women? Yes, I am. Do you think that the men you've been dealing with will let you walk off into the sunset? They will have to. I'm not a slave. It would be easier to be happy if I was with the right person, though. How do I know that you're right for me? How do I know that I won't get hurt? I'll look after you, Kate. I promise I'll protect you. There's nothing else I can say. You don't need to say anything else. Fancy clothes, Nico. Trying to upstage the groom on his wedding day? <laughs> Let's get me married. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may <laughs> kiss the bride. Mwah. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> Wonderful! Oh, yay. Yes, I did it! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes! Ah, congratulations, cousin! <laughs> Thanks for coming. <laughs> <Yay. laughs> All right, yes, okay. Uh, oh, there we go. Okay, yes, we are married. Okay. Oh, come here. Oh, come You fucking double cross an immigrant shit! Oh, get on, get on, get on. Oh, one out of this blood clot. Nico. Nico, come on. Oh. Somebody call an ambulance. Call a fucking ambulance! She's dead! What? Oh, shit. Shit, shit! She told me to leave it. I thought I had. I thought it was over. It's never over, Aya. Nico, you can't blame yourself. Of course I can! She's dead! Easy, 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 Aya. Oh. Easy. Calm oh. down, man. Calm down. Nico, you have to get out of here. Yes, go on, man. Go. go on, man. We have to leave, man. Oh. Just leave. Get out of here. Go. We take care of this, man. Okay, leave. okay. was meant to protect her.
And that woman I found one of that rascal at Pegorino's man, see? He be in under some building in a quarry square. We keep an eye out on him. Wait for me. I'm on my way. What is Roman doing there? This is not the place for him. He backing up, Rasta. I and I both be, see? One love. We're going to Koresh Square. You got it. Sorry, man. This is the close I can get you. Nico, get out of here. All right, my brother. That blood clot been out of place. Man, I've been following him for a time, see? Me think him next up at Pegorino. I'm gonna follow him there, see? Thank you, both of you. But I do not think this is the place for you, Roman. This is too dangerous. You are my cousin, Nico, and Kate died at my wedding. I'm helping you. Rot it, see him there? You have to stick to him, my brother. Fuck, we got a tail. Better lose this piece of shit on the way back to the peg. I don't want to be late. How do you know he's going back to Pegorino? He's been running around town like a daily city in a rat shop. Picking up shit in desperate. There's nowhere left for these guys to go. The whole city wants them dead now. Well, I guess I'll be doing the whole city a favor when I kill Pegorino then. The fool thought he could be a big player. This man will lead us there. We'll get him, cousin, I assure you. See him, Bretchen. I not be after him. And ain't know where boy I gonna live another day upon his earth. See? It's a dead man. Dead man. Fuck with the wrong Rasta and thing. This he will realize soon enough. Pull down! Where the fuck is this guy going? Easy, my brother. Taking us to Peg Arena. You need to chill. I'm not fucking chill. We're speeding down the highway at who knows how fast. Cars are coming toward us. People are shooting at us. How can you be chill? You've been smoking too much, Jacob. Whatever chill is, this is not it. You said you wanted the help, Roman. You said you wanted to give Peg Arena payback just as much as I did. I did. I, I do want to, but you know, I, I don't want to die. I have a wife to think about now. I've got nobody now. That's not true, blood. We got Iron Roman, see? Roman just scared that thing. He don't mean what I'm saying. We go and mash up this rascal, clad. Mash him up good, see? Roman, that's what you're feeling, don't you? Sure, sure, that, that's what I'm feeling. Nico, I want to get this guy. I just don't think we want to take any unnecessary risks while we're doing that. Roman, the last thing I want is to lose you as well as Kate. I can't imagine how I'd feel if I lost you today. But Roman, I will not let this piece of shit go. He is taking us back to Jimmy Pegorino. side of the West River. See in Roman. No company's grown neither and thing. It's a different city from the rest of Liberty. True? I am not taking you on some tourist sightseeing tour. We're chasing a scumbag back to his boss. Then we're going to make that shit and pay for what he did to Kate. Understand? Sure, cousin, sure. Eyes to the front, mind on the job at hand and all that shit. We're going to stop swinging on Nico. Me if I'm a saucy that Pegorino, he might be hiding in the north of Arden somewhere. Okay. We're making some progress, Dick. We will keep on this guy, and hopefully he won't fucking kill us. We'll crash before he leads us to Pegorino. I'm about ready to see that particular moron. Yeah, uh, me too!
Jacob. Your enrollment stay back. I'm going in to get Pedorino. Come, me and Jacob are here to help you. What? You want to get this rascal out of here, Nico? The best way to help me is to keep my cousin alive. I don't want to lose him as well. Also, oh, you have an end to strategy. When this guy is dead, I'm not going to want to hang around long. You motherfucker! Don't think for a second that this Pegorino is mine! No one can keep me from him! Shoot that fuck before he yeah. comes at all! I was afraid of killing these le- Take that boy down! and stay down. Anything to you. Come on, shit. Not without me, you're not. 
I'm going to get you, Jimmy! Shit! No thanks to you! You try to ditch me? Me know you find a way of a Take control of this thing and bet that guy me. Okay, let's get this guy! I smell his blood! Now it is only a matter of chasing him down! See me, Nico! You're going to forget him now! There's no way he can go! Thank you both for helping me with this! It was not your fault! Hold on! Fuck, fuck, fuck! I told you to leave me alone. I have the orders here. Me! You're not looking so good there, Jimmy. Screw you. What the fuck did she ever do to you? I wanted you, you immigrant dipshit. Big talk. You want to know something funny? Not really. The commission? The old families? I know some of those guys. And they thought you were a fat fucking joke. Whatever. A joke! <laughs> Yeah. You did it. Really? I don't know. What did I do? But we're done. Now we can start making money. Freely. I suppose so. We won, man. We won!
So this is what the dream feels like. This is the victory we longed for. Trying to beat our meat. Quality merchandise. These dogs are hot. Come and eat them. Yeah, I'm fine. How's married life? It's okay. It's hard to be happy when your wedding goes the way ours did. Kate's death was very unfortunate. Nico, don't blame yourself. There's no one else to blame, Roman. It's my fault because I refused to do that deal for Pegorino. It's my fault because I got close to her. I shouldn't get close to anyone. You should, Nico. Stay close to Mallory and me. We are your family. Mallory is pregnant. Girl, we'll call it Kate. Congratulations, Roman. You'll make a good father. I'll see you soon. I never thought this would happen, Nico. I never fucking thought it. Kate, sweet, innocent Katie. I'm sorry, Peggy. I was there. I tried to stop it. She didn't do nothing to nobody. It was those McCreary men who were the sinners. We're paying for that ourselves. She didn't have to pay, too. She didn't, Peggy. You're right. I gotta be with my mom, Nico. She don't got much left other than me, and that ain't much. See you, man. It's enough. See you, man. 